let's start with a couple of my basics. If I could only have two things in my camper to clean, it would be these two things. First, Mr. Clean's Clean Freak. If you've never used this before, it's amazing. It cleans like pretty much everything. The way it sprays is amazing. You literally just hold it down and it gives you this like two or three second spray. Super cool. My next favorite thing is the Viva brand cloth-like paper towels. I like them for two reasons. One, they're super thick. Also, they kind of stick together. So when it's on my paper towel holder and we're driving down the road, they never come unrolled. They're amazing. The good thing about having a tiny camper is that it does in fact have a tiny floor. However, that tiny floor still gets super dirty. So my next favorite tool is this super adorbs tiny sweeping brush for my tiny trailer. So I love it because it has this little dustpan and this little hand broom fits right in and I can easily sweep up all the rocks that we dig in here all the time. Now sometimes after I've swept, I might, you got it, use my clean freak to give it a quick once over. It acts kind of almost like it's been mopped. Let's talk about the fridge, cause who loves cleaning a fridge? If you just do a few trips a year, I definitely recommend clearing it out, turning it off and cleaning it between every trip. But when you live full time, obviously you have to make a point to clean your fridge. The good thing is that it's not very big, like everything else in the camper. My favorite way to clean the plastic racks is just straight up dish soap. If I haven't said it already, my favorite dish soap is this little Dawn foaming spray. The reason I love it is because it comes in this tiny little bottle. You get a lot of bang for your buck. You can really wash a ton of dishes with just this one little bottle. So I will definitely use that to clean all of my plastic shelves, which are looking overdue for a little bit of a cleaning, as well as this drawer that I like to keep produce and whatnot in. As far as the rest of the fridge goes, again, I go to my favorite, Mr. Clean Clean Freak, and my Viva paper towels. Now I know what some of you are already gonna say, but Mandy, that's chemicals. Why use it in your fridge? You, I have used a lot of the organic cleaners and I'm just not happy with them. So I use what I know. And then for the fridge, I'm gonna take a nice wet rag. I'm gonna rinse it, I'm gonna dry it. Honestly, never had a problem. Feel like it's super clean. If you have a tab 400 fridge like me, you'll notice the racks are actually screwed in. You're gonna have to take a screwdriver and take those racks out. Personally, I'm way too lazy for that. So I'm just gonna wash them right here in the fridge. Also, every once in a while, you're gonna wanna completely turn off your fridge and let it thaw out because that ice will build up on the cold components there in the back and in the freezer. So every now and then it's just good to give it a nice little deep thaw out clean. All right, this next one is kind of a gross one, but I guarantee you, if you haven't had to clean yours yet, you will. Let's talk about the ceiling fan. That's right, after several months of camping, living in it, whatever you do, that thing is gonna collect dust and dirt and grime from cooking, and it is really hard to clean while it's on the ceiling. Trust me, I've tried. But the good news is, if you get your fingers carefully around the edges of that screen, you can pop the whole thing off. Once you've popped off your screen, you have easy access to clean the fan blades if you want to, or you can just get to work on this mess. The key here is to soak your screen in some kind of degreaser. It could be a cleaner like 409, could be dish soap. Uh, I use warm water, soak it for a little while, and then we're gonna use a little brush to kind of brush all that grime off. And voila, like new. The only tip I have for you guys is when you are scrubbing the screen, don't press too hard on it because it is just glued on the back here. Next, you can see all the little clips going around. So all you have to do is just carefully stick it back up into place and you're good to go. In case you're wondering, yes, I did save my very favorite tips for the end. So Kendrick and I smell really bad and we used to like to uh, burn this candle in here. And after about one week of burning a candle, we noticed this horrible black soot on our ceiling. And I thought, oh my gosh, we've ruined it forever. Because of the texture on the ceiling and the doors, you cannot get into the crevices to really clean it. And that is when we discovered the magic of the magic 
eraser. Mr. Clean makes a magic eraser. They also make the thin eraser, which is what I have. It's basically a magic eraser that's kind of split up into some little sheets. But this thing works wonders on the texture of the door and the ceiling. That being said, if you smell really bad, like Kendrick and I, go for a soy-based candle and, you know, just watch where you put it to make sure that you don't get any of that soot. But this new soy blend is perfect for the camper. Use those magic erasers to get the doors and walls looking sparkly clean. Next up is these dirty, dirty windows. I picked the dirtiest window to start with, which is the one that's on the front because all the bugs and everything hit it. Now you'll notice this is not actual glass. So using a regular glass cleaner like window is not gonna work. So I went on to Amazon and I bought not one, but three different products that I want to try out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try one on each little section of the window and let you know what works best. Because it is some kind of flexi plastic something, I don't really know what it is, it's gonna scratch a little bit easier. I've got a microfiber cloth, the kind that you would use on a car because it's really soft and not gonna scratch. So I'm gonna try all three and let you know. Castle, Plexo, anti-static plastic glass cleaner thingy magic. Clear plastic cleaner made by Invisible Glass. And finally, Novus Plastic Clean and Shine. Oh, I think the third one's the best. I think so. So I know it's very hard to tell on the video, but I do think there was actually a clear winner. This side over here was the Novus Plastic Clean and Shine. I feel like it got it not only the cleanest, but it had the least amount of streaks. While I really liked the kind of aerosol spray of these other two versus this one was like a pump top, it still did the best job. So now I'm going to wash the whole window with it. So while I was out here cleaning the windows, my buddy Tom came over and showed me this other really cool product that he has made by Slick Products. This is multi-surface shine and protectant because he noticed how dirty our black decals were and he put some on there and there is just a huge difference between the dirty side and the clean side that he just cleaned off for us. So again, using a microfiber cloth that you would use on a car so it doesn't scratch and just wipe away, restore those nice pretty black decals. Hopefully you found a few helpful tips and products in this video to keep your tiny space very clean. As always, you can find links to all of these products in the description below and shopping with our Amazon links helps us buy all that gas to stay on the road. So here's to keeping your tiny home super tidy. Love and light. All the shelves. Oh, this one's so nasty, it's almost stuck. Eek. Oh gosh. What have I done?